I'm Amelia Sale from Oconee County, and I created a project focused around the idea of getting children with special needs involved in 4-H. I've always loved working with kids with special needs, and I knew that they could benefit so much from the positive atmosphere Georgia 4-H offers. I made it my mission to get as many kids with disabilities aware of their opportunities in 4-H. I combined that passion and my love for jewelry making to create an online jewelry business called Beads for Camp to raise money for camp scholarships for the special needs community and by delivering information about 4-H with handmade bracelets to special needs classrooms around the state. My online jewelry business has raised close to $1,000 for special needs kids to attend camp in the upcoming summers. Although my original plan was to have these scholarships available this summer, I have taken this time as an opportunity to grow and expand my outreach so even more kids could attend camp in the future summers. Plus, information about 4-H with bracelets made by the help of 4-Hers were donated to 17 special needs classrooms around the state. My main goal was to give kids with special needs the opportunity to experience the home in 4-H I know so many people have found. I want to thank all of you that have provided support because it would not have been half as successful without the constant encouragement of 4-Hers to help me expand beyond what I could have ever imagined. My project has started conversations in my community about incorporating 4-H to any child of any ability. The most important thing I learned was to find what you love and use it to benefit others. I believe anyone can take a passion and grow it for so much good. My name is Neely McCommons from Oconee County, and this past year, I had the opportunity to start a project I named Sea Turtle Saviors. Over one million marine animals are killed each year due to plastic debris in the ocean. And although I live 177 miles from the coast, I knew there were steps I could take to limit unnecessary plastic usage in my area. My first action step was to give members of my community the tools they needed to make a change. I was able to teach them how to turn a simple t-shirt into a reusable bag. In lieu of the current pandemic, I realized there was more I could do with this project. Many people experiencing homelessness in my area no longer had access to many resources. I collected over 600 plastic grocery bags and wove them into a six foot long sleeping mat. I also filled some of my reusable t-shirt bags with toiletry items, and I worked with a local nonprofit that was able to safely distribute my items to those who needed them. With one project, I was able to have an impact on two global issues that I am passionate about, marine pollution and homelessness. Throughout this project, I have learned that just because a problem is big and seems insurmountable, every step counts, and I am proud of the steps I have taken this past year. I want to thank everyone who helped me along the way. This project wouldn't be what it is without y'all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Juliet McKinley. My goal has always been to inspire others through the healing power of art. Little did I know how sharing my love for art would not only improve my mental state, but also help people of all ages be inspired to create and encouraged to connect. After discovering different calming methods of art to help with my own anxiety, I soon learned I was not alone and found ways to educate and heal others through art. I was able to incorporate the Unlonely Project's philosophy of art to influence others to make, share, and receive art. When classes and club meetings were canceled because of COVID-19, my efforts turned to e-learning. I participated in three Marietta Art Walks, raising $274 to teach art classes to 24 senior citizens, creating 28 pieces of art. I created Art for Horses, which had 31 entries and raised $140 with the Georgia Equine Rescue League's Horses in Need, taught 12 students with learning disabilities at Christmas STEM Camp, and created Artem Soul, a book that teaches you Zen Tangle techniques. I created the McKinley 4-H STEAM Project Facebook Club, where my brother and I continue to teach STEAM and art classes. To date, we have taught total 59 classes, receiving over 105,000 views and 1,700 followers from across the United States and around the world. I wrote and was awarded the $1,000 Pebble Tossers COVID-19 grant to partner with the city of Smyrna. I look forward to the day I can teach face-to-face -face classes again and create the next edition of Artem Soul. I have learned even with social distancing, a little bit of color can go a long way. Hello. My name is Nicholas McKinley, and opportunities for youth to learn about STEM can be limited due to access, cost, or a person's physical or developmental needs, and I wanted to change that. Through this project, I found ways to use STEM to inspire other youth 
to not only learn about science, technology, engineering, and math, but to also consider the human connection. My efforts focused on hands-on learning, but when COVID-19 set in, I had to shift to online learning and I was able to adapt to meet this need. I used exhibits to educate at 4-H events and fairs, activities at camps and school nights, and taught classes working side by side with my students. I established STEAM clubs at my county 4-H in school and the McKinley's 4-H Project STEAM Club on Facebook with my sister. My projects allowed me to work with people with physical disabilities and children with developmental disabilities. My Words Matter class challenges us to look at the terms we use when referring to others who are different. My exhibits at 4-H events and fairs reached over 10,000 people. My face-to-face -face activities and classes have impacted 269 children. To date, I have taught 29 online STEM classes with over 54,000 views. I have printed and donated 91 3D printed masks to healthcare professionals, first responders, and essential businesses. This project has been a significant learning process for me. My excitement grew as I experienced the impact of STEM and on individual lives. I was able to see a man take his first steps after losing his legs, and a child lighting up the room as he programs his first line of code. Today, I still produce life-saving gear during this epidemic, and I set out to change the lives of others, and the one I've changed the most has been my own. I'm Kate Yawn, and I'm a rising senior with Bullet County 4-H. My 4-H is for Everyone program seeks to bring 4-H experiences and programming to underserved demographics, specifically special education students. Bullitt County 4-H has been bringing 4-H programming to every 5th and 6th grade classroom in the county for over 40 years. But until 2018, we never had a dedicated special education program within 4-H. One of the local middle school teachers, she approached my 4-H agent and she asked if we could visit her classroom on the same day that we visited the rest of the classrooms in that school. Of course, the answer was yes, but these classes would need a little more preparation and adaptation as far as content and hands-on activities go. So my 4-H agent thought of me. I'm homeschooled, so that puts me in a really unique situation to be able to take charge of the 4-H's for Everyone program. And I have the time to sit down each month and create the lesson plan and activities for our classrooms and then actually go into the classroom and implement those things. I've been able to expand the program. We've added one new classroom each year and the goal is to continue expanding until no classroom in Bullitt County is left untouched by 4-H. One of the biggest impacts that this program has had is there was a young man who had never set foot outside of our county, but he was able to go to Cloverleaf Camp at Rock Eagle last summer, and he had so many new experiences. Swimming, he went canoeing, he got to pet the baby cow on the dairy truck on Wednesday, and just seeing his face, seeing him do something that he had been told so many times, you can't do this, you can't go to camp. Seeing him at camp doing those things, having the experience of a lifetime, that was the biggest impact of 4-H is for everyone. And no numerical scale could comprehend that, but this program really does bring 4-H to everyone. Hello, my name is Grace McBride from Emanuel County, and my project is called Around the World with 4-H. A few years ago, I discovered that many kids in my county don't have an opportunity to get out during the summer months. This is why in 2017, I began my day camp. This was a way to get kids interactive with their peers, engage their minds, and become a little more physically active, all while learning about different parts of the world. In my county, many youth don't get the opportunity to travel. This camp allows them to experience different countries by preparing and tasting international dishes, playing traditional games, learning some of the language, and even wearing some customary attire. Each year, my goal is the same to inspire these kids to want to learn and be active. I want to open doors for kids in my county and give them opportunities they may not otherwise have. Hello, I am Evelyn Day, a house and county 4 h -er. My project is called Pet Packs and it targets pet owners who are not prepared to evacuate with their pets in the event of an emergency. I started my project after seeing the abundance of animals that were abandoned due to their owners not being prepared to evacuate with them. I chose to start making chew toys for animals at local animal shelters. I then started making my pet packs, which include those homemade pet toys, as well as clean water, gauze, disposable waste bags, and a list of animal shelters and hotels that accept pets in Georgia. 
I then gathered supplies and organized several packing events which I also supervised. Through my project, I have learned how to better communicate my goals and opinions with both adults and youth. My project has helped me to grow my speaking and interacting capabilities and has reached over 320 pet owners. Hello, my name is Stephanie Lopez. I'm a Mitchell County 4 Hcher. My project is about how to cope with stress. I took the initiative to research the topic of stress after witnessing how much stress is affecting our society. I created a PowerPoint presentation to share with 8th graders at Pelham City Middle School to help them implement stress relief strategies into their daily lives. I conducted a survey in which students would find their major stress factor. I also created and displayed Do Not Stress posters at the libraries in my county. I designed and gave out Don't Let Stress Affect Your Brain brochures. Additionally, I made multiple informational stress management videos and posted them throughout social media. What I learned from my project was to face my fear of public speaking and getting out of my comfort zone to create a change in my community. I learned that stress is more severe and dangerous than what people know and think. The positive feedback I have received from people finding my information very useful and helpful clearly shows me that I am achieving my goals. I'm self-motivated to continue my ongoing project as I still have a lot to do. My work, time, and effort is truly worth it. God has given me the capacity to engage with people, which I use to exhort them and lift their spirit up. I will continue sharing my presentation covering stress management and getting my message from the young to the elderly, for no one is immune to the burdens of stress.